Welcome back everybody to Express. Today we're going to be focusing into setting up automated welcome emails for new subscribers into the year of 2023 and 4. Automated emails are a great way to engage with and nurture uh, your audience right from the moment they subscribe. So let's dive into the step-by-step -step tutorial guys. First of all, understanding the automated emails, those allow us to send timely and relevant messages to your subscribers. A welcome email is often the step, the first step in building a relationship with your new audience. So let's start by logging to your MailChimp account and setting up your first automated email. I'm going to be leaving you guys a link down below in the description so you can have your free account and you might be having a few rewards just by signing up with a link down below in the description. Next, creating a new automated email campaign. In your MailChimp dashboard, what you wanted to do is to go into the upper side that says create and then select the option that says email or in this case, you can always go for regular email. You have two emails as well. You have to choose the automated and then welcome the new subscribers. So if I create the automated, what I wanted to do is to look how the welcome new contact or new subscribers. So let's say for example that I choose welcome new contact. So this sets the foundation for your automated welcome email. Next, you'll be prompted to name your campaign and select the audience that you're actually targeting. So, when somebody contacts to sign up to an audience, you're going to be having the sale email, welcome email, and the contact exit. This is how the journey actually works. So, if you uh, like it here, let's go for the prompted name to the campaign and select the audience target. So, we go here for continue. My audience is actually this one. And now, let's work for designing your welcome email. So first of all, before I just design it, I want to make sure that we have the contact sign up for section here and have the create an email. Uh, when this happens, this happens. So the contact exits and there you go. Now designing your welcome email. If you clicked in here, as you can see here, the design of our actual email. It is time to design your email MailChimp to offer a range of templates, but you can also build from scratch. So customizing uh, the email to align with your brand, you can add your logo, use your brand colors, and write a friendly welcome message. What I wanted to do is to look out for some MailChimp template. So you can see that we have a lot of tools that are going to go for email purpose, and you can choose welcome. So remember this email is your first impressions you want to make this count. So check it out here. Let's see for example, I choose something really easy. For example, this one, apply. So I have now my logo. I have the, uh, the button text here and I can browse a few images, for example, here. And now personalizing and segmenting your email. Now personalization can significantly increase engagement. You can use MailChimp tools to add personal touches like addressing subscribers by the first name. You have different audience segments. You can customize your message accordingly. Now tailoring guys, um, your message makes subscribers feel valued and increase the relevance of your actual communication. If you kind of like what you're seeing in here, then you're actually good to go. But then later on, maybe what you can do is to add more different stylists. You can optimize it. Uh, the, you can add it more email uh, text links button as we just told about the personalizing and segmenting your email so there you have it guys now once your email looks good you want to go to set the trigger condition saved and returned to the journey typically this will be immediately after someone subscribed to your list preview test and when um, your actual test has been completed uh, activate your automated welcome email guide and then what I wanted to do is to open a new tuft just to make sure that my welcome email has been received into my email from and there we go as you can see it is actually working it appears in here into my mail of course this is as an spam but this is just a test so once your email looks good set the trigger condition and you're actually good to go guys so if this tutorial helped you guys please like and subscribe to the express guys for more email marketing insights if you have any questions about setting an automated emails in mailchimp you can drop them to the comments below thank you so much for watching and happy email stay tuned for more practical marketing tips and tricks guys hopefully we can all see you next time